Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Committee of the Whole Council meeting at uh, Asuyas Town Council Chambers, Monday, July the 20th, 2015, at 9 a.m. Uh, call the meeting to order, and uh, are there any introduction of late items? None, thank you. No delegations this morning. And um, one business item, and that is a proposed community event, a Mexican Workers' Tribute Day. And uh, I'm going to turn over to Councillor Rhodes. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor McCordoff. Uh, early uh, uh, last week, I was approached by uh, Jamie Elder from the uh, local Unity uh, clothing store about uh, an event that they're hoping to sponsor on August 30th in the afternoon from uh, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, the essence of the meeting would be to uh, pay tribute to some of our Mexican uh, workers. And, you know, just when you fall into that category, when you think you know everything about your community, uh, you get more statistics that kind of shock you. And I was uh, surprised to uh, hear about the number of Mexican workers that we do have in our community. Uh, uh, and there's over 200 of them, apparently. Uh, one of the other estimates that I'd heard was closer to 300 and that kind of thing. And apparently uh, enough of them around to support a retail outlet in our, uh, in our community, uh, just right across from the Sears store up from the, um, up from, uh, the post office area. And uh, so I was kind of intrigued about the whole thing, and I'd asked Jamie to send me something in writing, which is this document that everybody has, which gives a really, really good overview of uh, uh, some of the things that, that are going to take place in that particular day. They do have a couple of asks, and that's why I'd asked to have it on the agenda that uh, involves our, our town. And one of them is they are requesting a, a road closure during that event. Uh, uh, probably for a couple of hours before and a couple of hours after to allow people to wander around and uh, sample some of the food and the other uh, things that are, be going, that are going to be going on. Um, they have booked a, a band called uh, Mariacha del Sol, Sol and uh, they are a premium six-piece band from Vancouver and they will be attending. Uh, I understand that it will not be a loud concert type of event. It'll be pretty quiet and, and food being served and, you know, just some some other things going on. So I wanted to bring that to uh, today's agenda. I noticed it's the only one. I apologize for uh, bringing everybody out just for the one thing. And uh, But I felt that it was important, and it seems to be a pretty good uh, uh, thing. There has not been any ask for money or anything at this point. I'm not sure if that will, will happen. Uh, uh, we'll just have to deal with that if that request comes down. They are going to be looking for sponsorships from some of the wineries that uh, the Mexican workers work at and that type of thing. So uh, we'll see how that plays out over the next couple of weeks. Good, thank you. Um, right away, I thought of a couple of things. Um, number one, this group, whoever it is, would have to go and, and file get a special events permit, uh, which is done at the Sonora Center. So in thinking about this over the weekend, I wondered why they had chosen that particular location when it seems that it, it might be more beneficial to hold it down at, um, at Gyro Beach. And for a couple of reasons, one is that you wouldn't have to close off a road, and the second is that you would not have to um, hire in porta potties, uh, because you would have to if you had it on the on the on the road okay. there. And that's all of these are expenses. Um, I'm sure that there is um, insurance to hold the event no matter where you have it. Um, also, um, it says that there's going to be a, um, a, band, a, a stage put up, and we already have a stage with electricity down at, uh, at Gyro. So those were just um, the things that popped up to me, and I'm just wondering if any of those... Oh, and, and the other thing is um, a liquor, liquor license. If they're going to have wine, that triggers quite a lot of, uh, of paperwork, and... Uh, the, the store, the liquor store, and um, special event forms, and the RCMP. So there's, if they, maybe they've already got all that done. Do you know, CJ, whether that's been looked after? 
Well, I'm not sure if there's any easy answers. I'll certainly make that suggestion to, yeah. you know, of course, uh, uh, Mr. Romanko had mentioned that earlier. Uh, there's also the heat and the asphalt and that type of thing that we would have to deal with. Uh, however, I think there may be some attachment to the retail outlet, which is right on that mm -hmm. street. Um, uh, in all honesty, I don't really know. I'm just uh, kind of uh, speculating on that. Uh, I don't believe that there will be a liquor component to this event. This is more of a family uh, uh, type of thing. and. The sponsorship from the wine wineries will probably be in the way of banners and you oh. know advertising in that okay. way. I, uh, sure. I think. Now I'm not 100% certain. I'll uh, contact them later today and make that suggestion about Gyro Park and make sure they know that they need to apply for the special event uh, permit as well. Is there anyone else that would like to add anything to this? Uh, no, I, I, I think you, it's, a, I think it's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a it's a very nice idea to have it. Um, let's just um, I'm thinking let's make it as easy as possible for them to to put it on and uh, and uh, I, I'm thinking we've got so much stuff already down there that it might be easier to have it down at Gyro. But uh, Mr. Romanko, did you have? Well, I think we we would encourage them to move to Gyro because of all the facilities that are there and and we're always. You know, we've made such a huge investment in that particular area, and and I think it's, it's it's a nice place to hold uh, an event like that. And I, uh, you're going down there in the evenings, you see a number of Mexican workers that enjoy the area. So it's not that they don't know the area. I would have to see what their attachment is to the retail outfit. Uh, the other option would be uh, potentially, and you wouldn't have to close the street. Would be to to close that parking lot. And uh, they could have it off of the off of the street, and uh, uh, they could ho host the event in there. But I, I again, I'm concerned it could be 100 degrees out there off of the off of the asphalt. So, but we'll we'll talk to them, and and uh, but I would encourage them to uh, come and uh, uh, fill out the uh, the special events permit. Mm -hmm. Good. That's okay. anybody else have anything to? Okay, so um, we will leave that that uh, that Council Rhodes is going to um, to talk to Unity and see um, explain the concerns that we have and see whether they want to continue on and which road. Okay, if there is um, nothing else on the agenda, then um, I need somebody to move the adjournment, please. So moved. King Youngberg, all in favor? Thank you very much. Thanks, Keith. That wasn't much to come over for, was it? Fastest <laughs> meeting in history. We're going to have to drag you out of bed to do that. <laughs>